Hi, welcome to our video. Today I'm very excited to show you this new Rugged phone from Rugex. Now, as you probably know, Rugex is a trusted name in Rugged phones and tablets and devices. This is their latest phone. It's a feature phone, but the unique thing about this phone is that uh, it's got a flip phone cam shell design so if you remember the old phones from before we can just open up the screen and answer a call and close the screen to end a call this does it it's a very unique design in rugged phones now obviously being a rugex it's uh, tough it's waterproof it's dustproof it's shockproof it can take the odd knock here and there. It is a great, tough little phone. Okay, let's have a little look around this phone. So it's a nice little phone, phone not overly large, not too small. It's got rubberized edges. It's got the front screen on the front. We've got a camera here, the main camera and we've got the USB charging port inside with a headphone port as well covered with waterproof ports, we've got a nice loudspeaker on the back and we've got this textured finish on the front and back which helps you grip it. We've got a lanyard port for a strap and if we open it we've got the hinge mechanism and talking about the hinge mechanism let me show you how strong this is I was actually afraid um, that this would be weak but you know my fears were put to rest because look how strong it is I'll show you how later that, that how strong that is as well um, you can see I'm putting quite a lot of pressure on that hinge and it doesn't break um, I wouldn't recommend you do this but I'm just demonstrating to you how strong this hinge actually is it really is quite strong now what I want to show you how strong this phone is I wouldn't recommend doing this either I've run it over with the car now there are there is some paper on the floor the paper is literally there to stop the screen scratching and things I didn't want to ruin the screen um, because I still want to demonstrate this phone to you but I want to show you that I can run this over with my car and how strong this phone is not only that just the hinge as well it's got it in its most vulnerable position with the hinge open and I've run it over with my car and it survived that you can see it's perfectly fine um, there's it's not broken it's fully operational it works this is how strong this phone really is now let's talk about the waterproofness obviously if you're going to do a waterproof test make sure the back cover is nicely sealed make sure the side ports your headphone and your USB is sealed as well so I'm going to show you how waterproof this phone is by dipping it into this jug of water the phone's obviously on it's completely waterproof like I said just make sure that back cover is nicely closed and those ports on the side for your headphone and your USB is put closed as well. Again, this is completely unnecessary. I'm just showing you that this is waterproof and um, it can resist full immersion uh, into water. So not just a bit of rain. If you drop it in a puddle, if you drop it in the toilet, if you drop it in the bath, it's going to survive that. So if you are if you work in an environment where you do have... Uh, the opportunity to drop it in water this is going to keep you covered as you can see it's all fully working no harm to it whatsoever okay let me show you how you put the sim in and the memory card so all you all you have to do is take that one screw off the back take the back off take the battery out and there we've got our two sim slots it takes a large sim um, two large sims and a micro SD card at the top so the micro SD card goes in there it takes up to 32 gig and then it takes two large sim cards now you, you don't want to use two sims that's fine um, so you can use two sim cards it allows you to have two phone numbers and they both work at the same time there's no switching or anything like that both those numbers would be working at the same time so another benefit is like carrying two phones really it really is a fantastic little feature again you may not use it but it's there if you need to so just screw the back on now let me show you the keyboard the keyboard is backlit so you can see it in the dark those numbers do light up and the great thing about this keys there's no gaps in between if you had gaps 
the dust and things like that would get into the keys and cause problems. You're not going to have this with this keyboard. It hasn't got the gaps. Let me show you how you turn the torch on. Really good feature uh, to have. If you really want to turn the torch on quickly, you just hold and press that zero button on the bottom. Don't have to go through menus and the torch turns on. To turn it off, you keep your finger on the zero button and that will turn the torch off. So that's a quick link to the torch. You don't have to go through any of the menus to access that torch. Again, press and hold the zero and the torch comes on. A really good feature to have and it's nice that there's a quick button there. So at the top here you can see my O2 and my Vodafone SIM. They're both active at the same time, there's no switching. We've got our directional menu button here, the uh, take call, end call and then we've got our keypad. If you dial out a number of the keypad you can choose which SIM it comes from. If you have two SIMs like I have you can choose which SIM you're calling out from. Again like I said there's no switching. Both those SIMs are on at the same time. Let me show you text messages. Now this has got sort of smart text messages like predictive text. So basically I go through um, the numbers with the letters that I want and it kind of knows what I'm trying to say. So texting is far easier. You don't have to individually write out the letters. Um, it's got this sort of smart texting facility. Normal feature phones don't have this and this this feature really would save you so much time texting. Again, if I send out a text, I can choose which SIM it comes out from. So let's send it and you can see SIM 1 or SIM 2. Again, if you have one SIM, you won't get that option obviously, but if you have two SIMs on there, you're in full control. Let's go through some of the menus here. So we've got obviously our phone book here file manager here so you can look through your phone or your memory card we see our phone book there I haven't got many contacts just what's on my sim really you can search for contacts there as well if you needed to and entertainment there's just literally one game on there but it will keep you entertained on a bus stop or something it's just like a puzzle game nothing spectacular but like I said it will just keep you entertained so here we have the call center so obviously we've got our call history and things in there so your missed calls your died calls your received calls and things like that obviously we've got our message center here so text messaging SMS and then multimedia we've got our camera here let's uh, use the camera take a picture the cameras an okay camera it's not obviously smartphone level camera but it's good for a phone of this category so let's take a picture of my little monkey man here and uh, have a look at a picture so if we zoom in here you can see if I'm pressing key 6 to zoom in and then using navigation to scroll around the picture you can see the pictures actually quite good it's not bad for a little phone on a feature phone so back to multimedia we've got a video player as well you can take videos with this phone and you can watch them back or you can put some media files on here and you can play them back so let's have a look at this video So you can see videos play rather well on this uh, great little phone and little screen. Although it's a little screen, it's uh, the picture quality is quite good, as you can see. Now, you can see the audio is quite good as well, but let's properly test the audio by going to the audio player here. So once I've got my music on the memory card in the correct folder, I can then search through my music and play my music. So let's have a hear of this small but quite powerful speaker.
So you can see the speaker on this, although rather small, it's quite powerful and I think that's quite important for phones such as this to have a loud speaker. If you're in a work environment you want to be able to hear your phone. So let's go through some other settings here. Um, obviously we've got a sound recorder, um, great little handy tool and an FM radio. Now the FM radio you need to put, put the headphones in to use it but it's a nice little feature that you may use. Now the organizer have got some things in here, particularly the torch. Um, some alarms and stuff. Then you've got your S, uh, SOS function. Now that can be accessed through the SOS button on the keyboard and all the settings are on there. So the message basically, what text message it will send um, and then the phone number that is actually going to send that message to and which SIM it's coming out of. So it's pretty self-explanatory and then we've got our actual settings. The top one user profiles is basically your sound profile so um, to keep it get it on silent and stuff you'd go up in there and then we've got some various options in the phone settings as you would expect a phone to have. The important one here is the connectivity that's where your Bluetooth is turned off and on and extra you've got stopwatch you know, converter ebook reader don't know how you'd use an ebook reader on here but it's in there now there it does say internet service on here but listen this is a feature phone it's going to be extremely hard to set up internet so we don't advertise this phone as having internet at all and the last option just there very quickly was just a, a shortcut setting let me show you what the phone comes with it comes with a charger cable to charge it it comes with a pair of headphones so you can listen to your music and use that FM radio and it comes with a little screwdriver so you can open the back we even provide you one of those and obviously it comes with a quick start manual just to get you started now let me show you this fantastic optional extra it's a it's a little desk charging dock so basically you get one of these that's all you get with it by the way if you do buy one um, and then you plug it into your charger like normal and then you don't have to faff around getting the protective rubber ports off your phone to charge it you just simply place it in the dock and away you go you can see there the battery is charging now this would be useful um, on your desk on your uh, Dash, uh, on your dash on your car or your van it's no fuss it's just put it in there forget about it charge it when you need it take it out and that's it so let's uh, wrap this up guys this phone from RugX is a fantastic little rugged feature phone so if you need a phone like this that is tough it's rugged it's waterproof it's dust proof it's shock proof it, this really is a fantastic little phone. Um, it's dual SIM, so if you need that dual SIM functionality, it's there. If you don't, that's there anyway um, to have. And it's, as you can see, it's really quite a tough little phone. Now, my biggest concern for this phone was that clamshell design, the unique thing about it. The, uh, the, the, the sort of hinge I thought would be weak, but those were completely unfounded. You can see this is a tough little phone the hinge is really tough they've made it really really tough so that's no worry whatsoever and having that sort of feature to be able to sort of answer the call just by opening it and to end the call just by closing it now it's particularly good for a work phone such as this you're doing things with your hands you may have your hands greasy uh, wet muddy whatever uh, you can't sort of swipe to answer on a smartphone or press buttons you can just open the, the the phone and you're away so it's a great feature and one that is really beneficial in a tough rugged phone like this so guys the Rhino V from RugX I can't recommend it enough it's a great tough little phone if you need something like this this is a great choice to make thanks very much for watching the video and I hope you choose to buy one soon